In this video, we will learn how to find area of triangle when length of its all sides are given. So let's suppose that we have a triangle here, a right angle triangle. We can easily find its formula. We can easily find its area by the formula, which is 1 by 2 times its base into height. So this is the formula that we all know. Let's suppose that its vertices are A, B, and C, and it is right and it's right triangle. It's a right angle triangle, and the right angle is at vertex C. Let's suppose that the side A, B is 5 meters, and A, C is 3 meters, and this B, C is 4 meters. Now we can find area of this triangle. We know that area of triangle is equal to 1 by 2 times base into height. So area would be equal to 4 times 3. So it's equal to this 2 gets cancelled by this 4 and we get here 6 meter square. This is the formula that we all know. But we may not have a right angle triangle. We, we may have any general triangle given which is scalene triangle, it may be isosceles, it may be equilateral triangle. So how we can find areas of such triangles? So we can also use another formula which is called Hero's formula or Heron's formula. So how we can use how we can find area using this formula. Now let's suppose that sides of triangle are given. Let's suppose that first side is 5 meter and second is 4 and the third side of triangle is 3 meters. In order to find area of such a triangle, we need to find semi-perimeter of triangle which is represented by letter S. Semi-perimeter or we can say S is equal to length of all its sides divided by 2. So we get here 5 plus 4 plus 3 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6 meters. Now area of triangle, such a triangle, is equal to square root semi-perimeter times semi-perimeter minus length of first side, semi-perimeter minus length of second side, semi-perimeter minus length of third side. So we get here 6 times 6 minus 5, 6 minus 4, and 6 minus 3 square root. So we get here square root of 6 times 1 times 2 times 3. So we get here 6 times 6. So square root of 36 is equal to 6 meter square. So area of such a triangle is equal to 6 meter square. We can confirm this result with this formula also because we also got here area of triangle equal to 6 meter square. But remember that this formula is a lot easier but why we need it to use this formula because this is general formula here that we can use on any triangle where the length of three sides are given to us but this formula is only used when it is a right angle triangle or when the height of the triangle is given to us for example let's suppose the height of triangle is given to us then we can use this formula 1 by 2 times base times height but this is a general formula that can be used on any given triangle where it's when we have the length of all of its sides and hence can be used to find area of triangle. Let's suppose we have a triangle here 8, 5, 6. Now this area of such a triangle can also be calculated by using Hero's formula. We don't know what is the length of the height of such a triangle but still we can use this formula. So I hope you learnt something in this video regarding Hero's formula and how to find area of triangle where, when length of all of its sides are given and uh, try to solve a few examples yourself and I'll see you guys in the next video.
take care